Hello angels, I'm Miss Quiet Queen and you're now tuned into the Quiet Queen Project. Welcome back to my channel once again. Well, let's talk crystals, okay? Crystals are nature's telephone to humans, to people. What do I mean by that? Crystals... When I say crystals, I mean the stones that are found in the earth. I'm going to show you a couple. I have several. But I'm just going to show you a couple that I have um, in, a, in just a bit. Crystals are live energies. Now, I've seen a video a couple of years ago of someone saying, don't have crystal stones close to you. She said, no, she said, have them close to you, but don't sleep with them. Don't put them in your water. Don't drink them. Don't, um, what did she say? She said something else, and it was so obvious to me that somebody put her up to saying that. Now, she was a person that looked more like me, and I... When I was looking in her eyes, you know, you all know that I read energy. Some of you have hired me to read your energy around you. Um, and being a Pisces is not hard to do. So I asked Spirit, tell me her truth. And immediately I got the answer. Somebody put her up to that. Because they fear the truth coming out. They fear... The sleeping giant will wake up. They're doing everything in their power to keep the sleeping giants from waking up. From casting spells to hiring people that look familiar, that look like the sleeping giants, to lie to them. This girl said, you, you shouldn't... Um, hold the you shouldn't wear the crystals around your neck you shouldn't sleep with the crystals under your pillow you shouldn't put pieces of crystals in your water and drink them and that's all false and when i called her out on it they took the video down immediately i said that's the most asinine thing i ever heard in my life crystals are nature's telephone the first one i'm going to show you right here This is an amethyst. I don't know if you can see the purple hue in it, the lavender. This is an amethyst. And the amethyst is related to the age of Aquarius. Why do I say that? Because it's a great communicator stone. Okay. I um, have chipped off some of this and wear it around my neck sometimes. Uh, crystals have a consciousness. I look at the back, it's, you could, it's a stone, it's heavy. Um, they do have a consciousness, and I understand, and I believe this to be true. Um, if they don't want to be around certain energies, if they don't want your energy, they will get lost. Literally, get lost. You won't be able to find it. Or I had a, a um, an amethyst stone, and it, it was a stone. The amethyst part was shaped around a, a, a black, flat stone of some sort. And the way it was shaped, it looked like a shape of a lady's head. And for the life of me, I couldn't understand why that stone would not keep stay around my neck. I put chain, I put it on a chain, I put it on rubber, I put it... You know, I I tried to keep it around my neck. It, I felt like it was giving me some type of uh, power or insight. But that particular energy that was in that stone, it just was not ready to be around my neck. And I spent $135 for that particular stone, that piece. And um, I believe I know where it is. It's somewhere in my house, but I'm not sure. It just, it, 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 it chipped 
several times. It, it, it was broken. I put it in a, a sachet and tied it around my neck. It just didn't want to stay for whatever reason. So I had to do some thinking. I had to do some studying. I had to do some researching to find out what is it about my energy that it didn't want to stay. And sometimes it's not always necessarily about your energy. It could be the energy that is in it and not necessarily you. But I'm not going to get all into that because it's a personal situation. I just wanted to let you know, give you an example uh, a true example, true life example that stones are live consciousness. This looks like an inanimate object, but this is a live thing. I noticed that when I sleep with my stones, certain stones, um, you can sleep with any stone. Certain stones have certain properties. Now, this one is good for psychic abilities. It's good for communication and intelligence because we're living in the age of Aquarius and age of Aquarius what that means is um, it's the age of information so if there's anything that you need if you need to increase your psychic ability if you need to know something you have an amethyst stone close to you okay um, if you are not in the right state of mind you could have a stone, you could sleep with a stone and it would possibly give you nightmares. Now, here's another stone that I have. This is one of my favorite ones because I always feel this stone communicating with me. Now, you can't see how pink this is. This is a pink crystal quartz stone. And this stone right here, I communicate with often. And this is a female stone. The pe is the energy in the stone. I'm sorry, I should say female. It's the energy of a fem. The it's a feminine energy in this stone. And I kiss her a lot. Crystal quartz is a pink crystal quartz. This stone represents love. When I look at this stone and I hold it in my hand I think of the hush mammal la 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 is pink and la 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 represent in um, pure love pure loving energy did you know that you can come across the a frequency of love and it doesn't have to be a physical person I'm not talking about physical people I'm actually talking about the frequency of love when you come across the real frequency of love, it can kill you. What? Yeah, really. It can. It could be so much. It could be too much for you to handle. And you could perish. You have to be on the right wavelength. You have to be in the right vibration. Love is the highest vibration of all vibration the vibration of love that is how the universe was created through the desire to love and to be love crystal pink crystal quartz i sleep with this crystal sometimes i feel her energy her energy is very calming and loving and she calls out to to me more than this one now even though amethyst is my personal birthstone th this particular amethyst stone is more masculine and he ain't always feeling me but i force him to work with me and i do that for a reason i'm not going to get into but this one right here um often calls out to me when I'm doing my thing around the house I'll feel the energy I'll, I'll say I hear the energy but you know what I mean uh, not necessary audibly hear it but I can sense it I can sense her it's very beautiful so I'm going to 
sleep with her tonight. I just actually woke up from a nap because I woke up with this video on my mind. It, it was like a download I'm receiving about crystals. It's time for us to learn about crystals and learn how to use them. You all heard of the crystal skulls? If not, go look it up. I have a book in there someone sent me about the crystal skulls, and I'm, I'm going back and reading it again for the second time. Um, and maybe when I come back tomorrow or a few days later to tell you about the dream that I have, will have after sleeping with this, maybe I'll show you the book or read a few pages from it if you like. If that's something you like, just leave a comment down below. If not, I'm not going to waste my time. But um, yes, so get some crystal quartz. Get the real stones. Um, now, there's a stone called citrine. Citrine is the birthstone of November. And citrine, it kind of looks like a burnt orange, deep amber color. Citrine is used to ward off negativity. You don't need to consecrate citrine because the stone itself is meant to cast away any negative energies. It is a negative energy repellent. So why consecrate it? You don't need to do that. Um, so, and in my ring, my husband bought me a new wedding ring. Let me take it off and show you because I don't know if y'all can see it. Because the wedding ring that I had, remember I used to wear a gold wedding band? Y'all, I was doing my hair using um, sea moss, and I was just massaging it into my scalp. I looked at my hand, and it tarnished, the sea moss tarnished the gold. Now, it was real gold because I've had it for years, and it never turned any color. Washing dishes, using bleach, anything like that. It didn't turn my finger colors or anything. It's something in that sea moss, <laughs> But anyway, he brought me this one. It's, this one is opal and diamonds. You know what diamonds are, okay? So that's the opal is the the black part. What was I just say? Onyx, I'm sorry. Onyx, not opal. And um, this one gives off a lot of loving energy. And I think because... I can't remember what um, onyx, stand, onyx stands for, but um, I think it gives off the loving energy because it was given to me in, in love, right? So there's that. And a few in my bracelets, the same. But anyway, oh, this is my mother's ring my daughter gave me for my birthday one year. You cannot see the stones in it. It's the only thing about this. Mother's ring, you can't see. A mother's ring is a ring with crystal stones in it that represents each of her children and herself. So in this in this uh, ring, see it's a heart shape. Can you see something in there? It's a heart shape, right? And inside it is an amethyst stone. A citrine stone and a diamond. My daughter's birthstone is citrine. My son's birthstone is diamond and mine is amethyst. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen a mother ring like this. I always used to see a mother's rings with the stones on top and you could actually see it. That's the kind I really wanted, but I wasn't going to complain because I've been uh, telling my children I want a mother's ring for years and my sister finally bought me one in 2021. So, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm grateful and it's beautiful. And this heart shape is written, it says mom on it. But anyway, getting back to the crystals. These are telephones. 
they can speak to you. And mine are actually telling me, even right now, they have the desire to speak to the mother tree that's in front of my front yard. That mother tree is so many years old. She's very firm. And uh, she's kind of upset with me right now. Maybe one day I'll tell you about She's disappointed in me. Maybe one day I'll make that video. I don't know if I'm going to put my business out there. But I, I am trying to make amends with Mother Tree. And that is why I, um, I brought these out because I am going to um, share pieces of my crystal uh, amethyst with her. But I have to admit, I don't know if I'm ready to share anything of this this one right here um she will be my sleeping partner tonight and tomorrow or someday during this week sometime during this week I will let you know what dreams I had now sometimes the dreams that you have when you when you sleep with crystals different ones can be so profound. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. It can be so profound. It's so real. Um, it kind of, maybe it's kind of scary. So you got to be careful. Definitely, you do not want to sleep with more than one stone at a time. When you put these under your pillow, you need to say, uh, uh, do a quick meditation, um, and even protection because sometimes some crystals have an energy, a negative energy attached to it. Yeah, you have to be careful. Everything from the from the earth isn't naturally good for you right away. Okay, because everything comes from God's source. Even Satan. Satan didn't create itself. If he did... If Satan did create itself, why wouldn't it, why wouldn't Satan be? Never mind. I I'm I I can't finish that sentence. Something is telling me not to try to finish that sentence. Uh, but anyway, um, I wasn't feeling all my best today. There was a um an energy that I had to return to sender today. It was a it had a negative energy um, was sent. So I had to send it back and I had to um, go into meditation to do my um, hmm, this, there's this meditation that I was privy of knowing or, or learning from my spirit team. And it's in the book. And as I, when I was writing the book, I created this uh, meditation segment that you need to do before you actually read the whole book. So I, um, I was doing that, and I fell asleep. <laughs> this is how I know my meditations work really well for me. They work so well, I fall asleep even when I'm not sleepy. Does that make sense? Have you ever been wide awake but started meditating and you fall asleep and you weren't even trying to? Well, these crystals can do that. So get you some crystals. When you see a crystal, like a big crystal like this, pray over it first. Ask its permission if you can have it. Because if you're not going to be compatible, there's no use. Crystal stones have consciousness. They can cause things to happen. Yeah. They sure can. You know what else has consciousness? The lava stones in uh, Hawaii. Go look it up. There's so many people, they said that the post office in Hawaii gets returned rocks all the time. 
because they take these rocks back to wherever they live when they go to Hawaii. They take it back home with them and bad luck happens to them. And for a long time, my husband thought, that's happening to us, but we didn't, when we went to Hawaii, um, years ago, we went to Hawaii, and he said, I think we've been cursed, so maybe we should send back the ocean. So we didn't have, we didn't have the, we didn't take any rocks, but I did collect some sand from the white sand beaches in Hawaii. But I noticed in this, the white sands, there are particles of what people call black sands. But actually, that's not black sand. That is the lava. Crushed up lava rocks. And my husband said, that's it. That's got to go back. And I also had ocean water. I brought back some ocean water. Um, but I prayed over it and I asked goddess show me the truth and what she showed me was this and then I'm gonna let you go she said ordinarily well first of all she said yes it's true that the goddess Pele also goes by other names um gets really angry when you take her lava rocks because they're like her babies and you're just taking something and you don't ask but the reason what well, she told me the reason why um the, the the misfortune that we were having that my husband thought we were having was something totally different it has nothing to do with us taking any sand or ocean water although some of the uh, black so-called black sand was in the ocean water when I collected it and she said the reason why I have been permitted to do so is because and I heard all of this and I yeah I just know this to be true she said because before I went to Hawaii and when I got there I was sincere in my intentions I left my watch I used to have, I had a watch, um, silver watch with a blue face. We went to this one spot in, in Hawaii and I took off my watch. I said, I, I'm giving this to you. Please accept this, um, for all of the knowledge that you are shared with me for everything that I would learn as I'm here for allowing me to take home some of your sand because I, I want to be around you all the time. And you know, the ocean water. So I left my watch. I don't know how it was I got away with this, but on the plane I had brought with me from home different herbs, cinnamon, chamomile, hops, golden seal, gatacona, saagra, gatacara, saagra, um, lemon balm, and red bird and um burdock hibiscus and all that i put all these teas in my bag right my suitcase i brought them all and when i when we got to the spot we wanted to go to we were sightseeing the place where i put my watch there was a um a volcano it was an active volcano it wasn't it hadn't erupted in a few weeks, in several weeks, but it's very active because we saw big uh, volcano ash, like these big, you know when a volcano spills out its lava and then when it cools down, it turns black, but you have to be careful cause, and not walk on them because it could still be some heat in it. It's just the top part looks very cold but down in the center or parts of it it could have live or active lava and each time that the um the volcano erupts it pushes all of the old lava out so we were to go back 
to Hawaii at that spot, we would not be able to stand where we were standing at before. Mm. Because the lava, because the um, volcano was still active and it pushed the lava out. Ooh, y'all, please forgive me. I am sleepy. I've been sleepy all day, and I'm going to go back to sleep. But anyway, I just want to let you all know that. And um, the story of Pele is such a beautiful story. I love reading that book. I bought it while I was in Hawaii. But, um, yes, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Please thumbs up this video. It helps give me an algorithm. Thumbs up this video. Okay. And hit the notification bell. And all of that. And as you can see, I am very sleepy. So I'm about to go right back to slumberland, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. And stay in the light.